1995, the blood test was released from the police. Yes. Did the CDC go back and test all the people they had diagnosed with AIDS up until that point? <laughs> no, we did not. Realistically, you should not diagnose AIDS as acquired immune deficiency syndrome without evidence of HIV infection. In 1987, the CDC made two mind-boggling changes in the definition of AIDS, which are in effect today. You can be diagnosed with AIDS without ever having an HIV test. Uh, matter of fact, the CDC acknowledges that uh, at least 40,000 AIDS cases in the United States were never even tested for antibodies to HIV. So A lot of it is presumptive. The presumptive that there was nothing done, like in Africa, the doctor says, this looks to me like AIDS, and reports it faithfully to the World Health Organization or the CDC. And that's exactly what's happening here. There's a gay guy with Kaposi. Do we need to hear more? No. Goes to the, world, goes to the public health office as a reported AIDS case. Do you think anybody's going to question it? How were you diagnosed with AIDS since you didn't have the benefit of an HIV test? Well, I had a, in 1987, I had a lesion on my arm, a little spot that was raised in, in the color, and they biopsied it, they cut it, they cut it out, and it was KS, <clears throat> Kaposi sarcoma. And so the doctor told you you had AIDS? Yeah. Can you look at somebody and identify them as being HIV infected without doing an HIV test? Well, I could uh, shake hands with him <laughs> and see uh, yes, a little fever. Uh, I could guess uh, yes, sweat and a little uh, fever in his hands. I could say this is someone who has some kind of infection. And of course, if it is a gay man or a drug abuser, I will uh, guess it's probably HIV. Thank you.